selling merchandise out of tents from the side of the road. That idea is popping up all across the city. Many of you at home pointed us in the direction to find these tents and asked whether or not they are allowed to be there. James Torres brings us that answer. Well, listen, you can often find these pop-up tents along East Brainerd Row, and they usually pop up during the weekend. Former Mayor Ron Littlefield asked us not to be on camera, but he says it's a problem the city has been fighting for a while now. We found out that there is a way to run these side-of-the-road businesses while still following the law. The Next Door app is a way you can connect with neighbors in your community. In this thread, you can see someone mentioning pop-up tents along Brainerd Road. Some people took to Facebook to say the same thing. This one mentioning a tent selling Donald Trump merchandise. We went out and found that tent and spoke to the vendor. We sell hats, t-shirts, and our flags, President Trump make America great again have flags. Uh, and also we've got some spinners because that's the hot idea, hot item in America today. David Dixon says he travels across the country for this. He says he's running this tent legally because he has a temporary Hamilton County business license. The license license basically allows you to do uh, hard merchandise, you know, because you, you put on your license, you tell them up front what you're going to sell. And according to the Hamilton County Clerk's Office, that specific license allows him to operate for 14 days. Business manager Susie Holloway explains the rules. Any business uh, that is doing uh, business in Hamilton County and they're going to gross more than $3,000 a year uh, is required to have a Hamilton County business license. That means as long as tents like these are making less than $3,000 a year, they can do whatever they like without a license. Dixon says he gets a license anyway every time just to have his bases covered. Occasionally some, uh, a citizen will call the police department because they want to know who you are and make sure that you're legitimate. Occasionally, county inspectors will go to these tents and ask for a license or proof that they're not making more than that $3,000 threshold. Alyssa. James, thank you. The county clerk's office, as most municipalities, require a license in addition to the county license. Therefore, if you're doing business in Chattanooga, you'll need a Chattanooga license as well as a Hamilton County license.